so uh, hello guys so today we are going to discuss this problem maximal network rank so this is the lead code problem so the problem says something like this that if we are given a graph something like uh, this and uh, the roads or the edges are given for example 0 to 1 there is one edge then then 0 to 3 there is one edge then 1 to 2 is one edge and 1 to 3 is another edge so we have to find the maximal network rank so in this uh, example maximal network rank is 4 so I'll just explain how this maximal network rank is calculated so in this case for example I have taken this example 0 1 2 3 and this is a disjoint graph so we have uh, a tree or a graph subgraph here which is not connected to anyone so the maximal network rank is the number of roads which are there between any two pairs between any pair of different cities so for example if we see uh, from node 0 what are the number of roads we have two roads that is 0 1 and 0 3 so roads from 0 is 2 from 1 we have three roads that is this one 0 1 1 2 and 1 3 so the it has three roads for 2 it has only one road which is 1 2 then for 3 it has two roads this one and this one then for 4 it has only one road which connects to 5 and for 5 it has only one road which connects to 4 <coughs> now the network path uh, is between the pair of nodes so for calculating 0 1 we need to actually find all the routes from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so how we are going to do it the roads from 0 uh, these are 2 and roads from 1 this these are three so we are going to add those so it will make up five but the common road is only considered once so this is the common road which is only considered only considered once so this is also given in the question that we have to find of all pairs of different cities this is one and uh, if the road directly connected in two cities it is only counted once so it's already marked in bold so now let's consider and see the example of 0 3 so for 0 3 0 has two roads then 3 has two roads and is there any common road yes there is a common road so we are going to subtract it and that's why it's it becomes 3 now the the interesting part here is we have to calculate the network rank of the nodes which are not connected for example 0 and 4 in that case these nodes are still not connected but still we have to find the network rank so how we are going to do it for network for node 0 we have 2 and not for, and for node 1 we have for sorry for node 0 it's 2 and node 4 it's 1 so we'll add up those and it makes 3 but the point here is since we do not have any common road so we are not going to subtract one so the concept basically is if we have any common road between them we are going to subtract one otherwise we are going to add the number of roads or the number of edges which are going out of a node so similarly uh, we can count uh, the network path from node 1 so for node 1 let me just scroll up for node 1 1 to 2 uh, it's 3 because for 1 it's 3 and 2 it's 1 so and there is a common road which is 1 and 2 so we are going to have 4 minus 1 which becomes 3 so common road 1 2 is not taken and since 0 1 we have already calculated 4 so we are not going to calculate 0 1 when we reach this node or when we reach uh, this city so basically <coughs> uh, we are uh, I'm going to discuss uh, one approach which is of time complexity O V square V uh, we are the vertices or we can say the nodes or uh, we um, we can say the cities so in a graph we are the uh, vertices or nodes or cities or and edges are uh, the nodes uh, like edges are the connectors basically between them so the complexity of the graph we measure in terms of v and e basically so how we are going to do it we are going to create a graph which contains all outgoing nodes of a particular node as neighbor for example let me copy this one here So 
so if we see here uh, in this graph uh, we are going to take a vector vector of set so in that uh, in C++ we are going to vector is same as an array a dynamic array which can grow as we try to insert more elements and an ordered set uh, is a hash table a hash map rather in Java which contains only the keys um, and uh, that too can be retrieved in one time so for node 0 it has two neighbors that is 0 and 1 so uh, sorry for node 0 it has two neighbors that is 1 and 3 so that's how the entry is for node 1 it has three neighbors 0 2 and 3 so that's how its entry is then for node 2 it has only one neighbor 1 for node 3 it has 2 0 and 1 for 4 it has only 5 and for 5 it has only 4 so it, initially we are going to create this then since we have to find all the pairs we will traverse for uh, all the pairs in two for loops that is once we'll take the node 0 then we'll compare we'll find with all other nodes then we'll go to node 1 and find for all other nodes then we'll go for go at node 2 and find for 3 4 5 and so on and if the two nodes are actually connected that is they have a common neighbor for example in 0 and 1 if they have a common neighbor we are going to just subtract one so this is how it goes we have to find the maximal uh, we find the maximal network rank for every pair of node and keeping record of maximal rank so we are going to find for this pair that is 0 and 1 so the number of neighbors of 0 plus number of neighbors of 1 and we'll subtract 1 because there is a common neighbor in between them for 0 and 2 uh, the number of neighbors of uh, 0 are 2 and number of neighbors of 2 is only 1 but there is no common path in between them if we see for between 0 and 2 there is no common path that connects both of them so we are not going to subtract one from them and uh, finally while calculating all, for all the pairs we are going to note the greatest rank uh, and that is the answer so let us go into the code so uh, how it basically starts is let me just open it here as well okay so uh, I have created a Google test um, like for this one so let me just go to the main function so uh, in main uh, we are going to create a graph uh, that is the graph will be we are going to uh, we are going sorry we are going to create uh, edges that is for example here uh, there the roads or the edges are 0 1 0 3 1 2 and 1 3 and then we are going to uh, create an object of a class and then we are going to call the method uh, four are the number of nodes and uh, rather I'll say these are graph is uh, the roads or the edges and then uh, we are going to call it so let's go to the class so in the class what we are going to do is we have a vector and uh, vector of an ordered set which is uh, which we have taken as a graph and we have taken vector of n nodes initially then we are going to iterate through the roads and we are going to populate the graph uh, that is the neighbors of the set so for example in the first case for 0 that is node 0 uh, 2 will be 0 and from will be 1 that means there is a road from 0 to 1 so for 0 that is on vector 0 we are going to insert 1 and on vector 1 we are going to insert 0 similarly we are going to populate all uh, the all, all the uh, graph and it becomes something like this at end then uh, we are going to sit in two for loops first for loop starts from i equal to 0 and it goes till n minus 1 another for loop starts from i plus 1 till n that means we are finding all the pairs in uh, the problem or in the graph so for then we are going to calculate a rank which is size of graph 1 plus size of graph of 2 so first of all for example we are on node 0 
and then we are finding the pair between them so the the number of roads between 0 and 1 is 2 plus 3 but if there is a common uh, road between them then we are going to subtract 1 that means if in the graph of uh, i that is if in the graph of 0 i can find j that is i can find 1 here here then in that case i'm going to subtract the rank and subsequently we are going to note the maximum rank uh, so if this rank which is calculated is greater greater than the earlier calculated rank so we are just going to co uh, copy in the out and we are going to simply return out so this submission actually is accepted and it works and that's all yeah thank you